Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 2053 kth distinct string in an array. Before we start looking into the problem statement and some examples and solution, I just want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for coding interviews and Java interviews. On my channel, there are more than 200 solved examples coding questions which were previously asked by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and many others and those were selective problems to cover important varieties such as dynamic programming, graph, binary search trees, binary uh, search related coding questions, uh, linked list string related coding interview questions as well as DFS, BFS and matrix related questions. So if you are preparing for coding interviews or Java interviews, please subscribe to this channel now. This channel can definitely be of help in your Java interview preparation. So please subscribe it. So let's go through the kth distinct string in an array problem. So distinct string is a string that is present only once in an array. Given an array of strings add and integer k return kth distinct string present in the array. If there are fewer than k distinct strings, return empty string. Note that the strings are considered in order in which they appear in the array. So this is a very important thing that they are. So we have to consider the order right when we are answering the question. So <clears throat> for example, if you look at this second example, right? So there are three distinct strings. So we will return the first one. So first one is AAA, right? So that's what we have to return. So let's just take this first example over here and uh, we can uh, go through this example and propose our solution and then we will implement this solution, right? So this is the given array. So we have to find out the second distinct string, right? Because K is two. So we are going to use linked hash map uh, for this implementation because linked hash map stores the insertion in the map in order right so it maintains the order so if you look at linked hash map right here linked hash map then uh, java right so linked hash map will show you that it maintains the order right so uh, as you can see it is a linked hash table and linked list implementation of map interface with predictable iteration order with predictable iteration order it means that it maintains the order right so see this differs from hash map and uh, that it maintains a doubly linked list running through all the entries. This linked list defines iteration ordering which normally the order in which keys were inserted into the map. So this is what we wanted actually in our solution right because the order is important as you can see it here order in which they appear in the array. It is important so we will use linked hash map right it's a map implementation. So let's go through this example. So uh, we will go through each and every string and we will uh, put those entries into the linked hash map, right? So let's just consider that this is our map. So first uh, string is D. So we will make D and its um, occurrence is once, right? Frequency is one. So after that B, so we will go insert B. B's frequency is also one. Then C, C frequency is also one. Uh, after that again b come right b so we will increment b's frequency from 1 to 2 then we will go to c c's frequency we will increment from 1 to 2 and after that a comes so s frequency we will incre we will insert here s frequency as one right so after this one is done then we will again iterate through this linked hash map entries right uh, using the entry set right um, hash map has an entry set so we will take entry set and we will iterate through all these entries right S and we wanted to find out the second such entry such that its value is one right so this d1 so this is the first entry right which is unique so we will keep continue so this one is two so it's not a unique entry this one is two it's not a unique entry then again a1 so this is also unique entry so this is the second unique entry right second unique entry so we will return a as our answer right so a is the output basically as you can see here right a is the output so this is the uh, implementation and in this third example as you can see a is appearing twice and b is unique but it's uh, we want the third unique entry so now there are no three unique elements so we have to 
uh, we will answer at an empty string here so this is let's look at the implementation now so first i created a result string and this result string is empty then i created a map which is a new linked hash map right because we wanted to maintain maintain the order right so we created linked hash map and it takes a string and integer integer is the frequency of the string so we will go through all the array strings and we will put that entries into the map just like we did here right like this basically um, and if uh, no entry is present we will just default it to 0 right so 0 plus 1 it will become 1 otherwise it will take the uh, if entry is present it will take its frequency and add 1 to it right so after that one is done in this for loop we will just have create one c as a variable and c is equal to 1 right uh, to find out the kth um, we have to find out the kth uh, distinct string right so we will use that so after that we are just taking map dot entry set it gives us the entry object right of string and integer e and we will compare the value right so value is equal to 1 and c is equal to k in that case we got our result as the key e dot get key we will do and we will break out so um, uh, otherwise we will just uh, get the if the value is unique then we will increment c right because we wanted to find out the kth a distinct entry right so whenever c becomes equal to k then we will just get the result as the key basically and break out right as you can see here this is the when k become 2 here we will just get this key a and we will just return that key basically right so that's what we are doing we'll just set it to result here and we'll return result at the end so we can just go ahead and run our code first to make sure so we are getting correct answer here right uh and let's just take some other custom cases so let's say we have only two distinct entries here now if if we want like if we ask for third one i will we will just get empty now in this case as you can see we are getting empty string so this is another test case we found uh, we have uh, apart from that if let's say now uh, if we make one another entry here called as a let's say x right so this one is the third unique entry so now we should get x when we run this example so we are getting x as the third unique entry right so we have tested few examples so we uh, can now submit our solution so our solution got accepted let's take a look at the details so all the 66 test cases passed here and uh, the submission is 63 percent better than other other submissions and on the memory side it is 58 percent better right so uh, this is how you can solve the uh, distinct kth distinct string in an array problem uh, using linked hash map uh, so i just thought that this uh, solution will help you understand the linked hash map as well uh, as this approach of how linked hash map can be helpful to uh, solve problems where ordering is important right ordering is important so um, i will share the code in my github repository and give the link in the description uh, if you haven't already looked into my uh, playlist called as lead code and lean code solutions then please go through that playlist now it has over 200 uh, solved problems explained with examples and those problems are taken from previously asked coding interview questions by big tech companies like Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, App, uh, Yahoo, Microsoft, and many others. And those are selective problems to cover important variety such as dynamic programming, graph problems, binary search tree problems, binary uh, search related coding interview questions, as well as BFS, DFS matrix questions, and linked list uh, string related coding interview questions as well. If you are preparing for telephonic Java interviews, there is another playlist called as Java interviews that can help you because that uh, playlist has uh, you know frequently asked telephonic interview java questions and how to answer them is also explained there so please go through those two playlists uh, also if you like the way of explanation with examples and if you like this solution please hit like and subscribe it your subscription is really important to the channel because this is the way the video can reach to more people who are preparing for coding interviews they can also uh, see these videos and understand how to approach different coding interview problems and how to apply different techniques to solve these problems 
and they can also get help by looking at this video so please subscribe it uh, also if you like this solution please sub, uh, like uh, share this solution with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching this video